Hey y'all, Jade here. Um, today I'm going to give y'all a video on my trash, my empties. Um, I think whenever a beauty guru or whatever gives you an empties video, you're like, why do I want to see your trash? But it's actually very informative. Um, if somebody that loves makeup, loves beauty, loves all the skincare stuff, has used a product all the way to the point where it's empty, you can know that they like really know what they're talking about when they can recommend it or you know, they, they've used it all up. And we have so many makeup and skincare items that it, it says a lot if we use up an item. Um, I guess I'm a little bit different because if I've spent my money on it, even if I don't really like it, um, I'm probably gonna use it because um, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't like to let things go to waste. I have a box here and stuff. Here we go. Mooney, ha! Huh? This is a Japanese uh, baby wipes uh, box. So, Mooney. All right, let's just, I'm just gonna dig right in and just start telling y'all about my trash, all right? I have right here, this first one is the Victoria's Secret Perfect Body Smooth Me Over Pink Sea Salt Exfoliating Body Polish. This one right here. And this is a, just a body scrub. Use up in the shower, and it smells wonderful. Nice and perfumey. I bet. I bet all those Victoria's Secret Angels smell like this. I don't know. I've never sniffed them, but, yeah, it smells good. And I really like this one. Um, I will not be re repurchasing, though, because there are so many others that I want to try. So maybe, like, later I might. And it was very, very good, but the formula wasn't, wasn't my favorite. Um... I like thicker, like bigger salt things or whatever to really get in. And this one is not as not as thick. So I'm going to say, though, if you have very sensitive skin, this would probably be a lot better for you because it's not as harsh on your skin. Um, but it does. It smells so good. Yeah. Yeah. Get, get that. All right. Where is the thing that goes with it? I saw it. Oh, here. I also used up this. Kind of goes with it. Kind of is the Victoria's Secret Perfect Body Twice as Fresh Coconut Oil Silkening Body Wash. Did you get that? I talked really fast. Wow. <laughs> okay, this is the Coconut Oil Silkening Body Wash. And this one, it looks like this, and um, this smells, it smells the same. Yeah, they like go together, so it smells the exact same. And um, this was cool. It, like in the store when I was looking at it, um, it like half and half, it looked like half of it was the, uh, like pink oil and half look like lotion and then you just kind of shake it all up together and um, yeah I liked it a lot but I will not be repurchasing it because it doesn't come to a lather at all you just gotta shake it up into your hand and put it all on and then more and more and more and more and um, I think this cost me $16 and I only got like a month, at least, not even a month's worth of um, um, bass out of it. Um, so I won't be repurchasing it. So I'm going to, I used these up. I spent my money on them. I used them up. But I will not, probably will not be repurchasing these ones. But this one is nice. It is nice. All right. Another bath item that I used up was the True Blue Spa Sugar Crystals Refreshing Citrus Body Scrub in the scent Need a Margarita. All right, this one, I don't know. It's like a love-hate because it's super thick. Okay, guys, this is a super thick, so it really, really scrubs you good, right? And it's got the um, oil, oil in it, so I felt very moisturized even after I used the scrub. But holy cow, the smell of this. I don't smell margarita. I just smell this crazy citrusy smell. And it is so strong. I, like after I took my shower, rinsed off, I walked by the bathroom like half an hour later and it still smelled super citrusy. Oh, it's too strong. It's too strong. So I'm not ever going to repurchase this. But this formula I love. So I'm going to maybe see if I can go back and maybe buy something from the same brand. Just a different smell. I'm more into like the vanilla type smells, not so much citrusy because that too much, guys, too much. Heck no. All right. This is a hair care product. This is the Joico K Pack Deep 
penetrating reefed constructor for damaged hair. And it looks like this. And this was expensive. It was $16. So. Oh, it smells good too. But I felt like it was really, really thick. It doesn't come with like a lather. Um, so you do need quite a bit, especially the longer your hair is. Sorry if you're here. My daughter just got home from the park, so she's nice and loud. That's what children do. But okay, um, so it is thick. So you, I got like six or seven showers out of this with doing my hair mask. And I really did like it though. It, um, I felt like it really worked good with my hair. While I was using it, I was like, this ain't doing crap. But after I stopped, after I ran out and it stopped using it, I knew that it was doing good for my hair because I immediately felt like, especially back here, that it just, my hair was getting a lot rougher. I could really feel the, the uh, split ends and stuff. So this one, this is good. Um, I'm not repurchasing it right now because I have several other hair masks that I'm working on. But um, this one is really, really good if you, uh, if you do have damaged hair split ends. You know, you're constantly using styling products on your hair. Yeah. All right. Let's get on. Let's get on with this. This is another hair product. The Bumble and Bumble BB Hairdressers Invisible Oil Heat UV Protective Primer. This is just a smaller size. And it was good. Not great. I didn't feel like it was super amazing that I have to go out and buy the full size right now because I, I don't. And it smells fine. But, um... I mean, I guess you can't really tell if something's protecting your hair from the heat, but um, I didn't feel like it extended my styling any longer. I didn't feel like it was super amazing, so um, I will not be repurchasing the larger size, but I mean, it was good while it lasted, I suppose. I'm not going to talk much about that one. Let's see. The Righteous Butter. This is Soap and Glory. The Righteous Butter Body Moisturizer. The Very Dry Skin Formula. Looks like this. And I really like this. It's a very perfumey scent. I think I actually heard somebody not like it because it was so perfum perfumey, kind of like a grandma. But I'm all into grandma stuff, guys. And I don't think it's too grandma. I, I really like it, and I'm kind of sad that it's all gone. Um, yeah, it smells good. Um, and it's like I said, as far as the body butter, it is. It's great. You put it on. It's nice and thick, so it's really good after you get out of the shower. It's nice and thick, and it absorbs right in, and you're super moisturized. moisturized. I went to bed because I shower right before I go to sleep so I went to bed and I woke up the next morning and I was still was like so soft like, yay it's so soft then I dropped it on the floor Woo! it's going in the trash anyways it's fine all right next thing some hair no no not hair I just did hair I'm talking about face okay origins checks and balances frothy face wash this one's nice this one's really good let me see I gotta smell it because you know guys I gotta smell everything and it smells good. It's kind of got a minty smell to it, which I'm sure it's just all in my head. But, you know, when something's, like, kind of minty on your face and you're like, oh, yeah, that's clean and good, even though it may not be. It's just all mental. But this one's nice. You, um, It gets really frothy, you know, like it says, frothy face wash. It's frothy all up in there, and it, and it cleans good. Um, I will not be repurchasing the full size simply because this is an expensive brand, and I have quite a few other face washes that I want to use up but um it was good I just didn't feel like it was amazing all right I have the origins clear improvement active charcoal mask to clear pores this guy right here he's empty um and it was good like again like I will not be repurchasing the bigger size because I didn't feel like it was amazing I didn't feel like it cleared out everything from my pores I still have blackheads all over my nose and um I mean, it was good, and it makes, you know, you walk around with a charcoal mask on your face, it makes you feel good, like you're really doing something, even though it may not be. Again, it's all in my head. All right. Bosha Luminizing Black Mask, a peel-off mask. Okay. The pro to this is after you peel it off, your face does look younger. I mean, I'm only 24, so I'm not super old, but I felt like it looked so luminizing and nice and young. Even my husband commented on it. But, to get to that, you have to peel it off, and it hurts. I was like, oh God, oh God, oh God, peel it off, and I didn't want to do it anymore. And this, and you have to use a lot, because you're supposed to do a really thick layer. This only got me two, two times, guys. I know I'm probably thinking I probably used too much, but I really didn't. Maybe I just got a big face, I don't know. But, two times, and 
it hurt so bad. I will never, never repurchase this in my life. I will find something else that gives me the luminizing baby face because this hurts. Pain. I know pain is the price of beauty or whatever, but I ain't dealing with that right now. All right, Kadali, Vinosaurus, Vinosaurus, Creme Sorbet. Oh, that's the French. Okay. Moisturizing Sorbet. Sorbet. My husband is laughing at me because he knows I sound like an idiot, but he can just uh, shut up. All right, this is good. This is a good moisturizer. It's not amazing, but it's good. And, uh, oh, there's a little bit left. Okay, um, this is the small one, just the uh, 10 milliliter, 10 mls, milliliters. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm making myself sound really stupid. Okay, but it's good. I use this one at night because I have super oily skin, so if I have to use my Clinique, moisturizing gel in the morning because that's the only thing thin enough for me to moisturize with because I have such oily skin but at nighttime I could use this one and um, it'd be okay if you go to bed a little bit gunky I guess but no this is good I will not be repurchasing a large size because it's expensive and I didn't feel like it was amazing I have to like really think something's amazing to repurchase it more than once okay this one oh. New, new Neutrogena Oil Free Cleansing Wipes. Pink Grapefruit Acne Prone Skin. I normally wouldn't put these in a video. Like I went through several different like cleansing wipes. I normally don't put them in a video because everybody goes to cleansing wipes. But I wanted to point these out to you guys because they are awful. These things, this thing has been empty for so long and it stinks so bad. Like, I like the smell of grapefruit. But this is way too strong, and it kind of burns. Why did I even open it? Why did I do that? It burns like when you go in, there and you don't want to like. It's a cleansing thing, so you know it's not like a makeup remover. But you put it around your eyes, and your eyes are like, oh my god, give me air, give me air. I can't breathe, you know, because it's 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 just much too strong. And I will never ever repurchase those in my entire life ever. Okay, three more things. Almost done, guys. I'm sorry probably getting long. Alright, Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb. This is just a small one. I got it at Sephora with my little points, you know, a point perk, so it was free, but um, this is great. Like, I like vanilla smelling stuff and not really into floral, and this one is super florally, but florally, 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 whatever, super flowery, and it smells so good. Yeah, okay. So it's the end of it. If it, this, this stuff is so expensive, though, I will not buy a huge one. I'll just, I guess, keep using my perks to buy small, get small ones because it's so expensive. But it smells so good. That that smells good. All right. Laser FX Lift Servant Ser Serum. Oh, I'm getting tired, guys. Laser FX Lift Serum by Dr. Brandt. This is a small size, and usually I don't put. I try not to put little samples in empty videos because. I would have a million million of them if I did. But this thing is awesome. Like, I swear, it says it tightens and firms. And I sure did. I put it on for my moisturizer, and I was like, whoo, I got some Botox. Like, it, it tightened me up. Like, I loved it. And this might be a turnoff for some people, but it smells like licorice. And I love black licorice, and it smells like that. And yeah, I like it. And this stuff is super expensive, so I probably will not be purchasing a full size right now. But if I get like an amazing, super good paying job when we move to South Carolina in 11 days, then maybe I will buy the full size because I really, really liked this one. Good job, Dr. Brandt. You did good. And my last one is Tarte Gifted. This is the only um, makeup one I have. I'm sorry. This is the Amazonian Clay Smart Mascara. This is awesome, guys. I know I've seen other beauty people rave about it and they all say the same thing. Look, the brush, it looks normal, but you would be so surprised to see what it does to your lashes. But they are so right. Like, I have I have tiny little midget lashes, okay, guys? I don't have much going on. I was not blessed in that area. And I'm not wearing it today, but this... Um, this was great. Like I feel like it gave me a lot of lift and everything. You want to come say hi? No. My little girl is just standing here staring at me with these like crazy eyes. I figured she'd come say hi, but she don't want to. She's kind of grumpy. But um, yeah, this was great. Um, I will definitely be re repurchasing the um, much bigger size um, as soon as I get back 
back to the States, that will be one of the first things I buy. Oh, look, there she is. You want to play with the makeup? Yeah. It's empty. Can you say hi? Yeah. That's my daughter. Let's see. She's four, and she's going on 16, I think. But, yes, that is all my empties. Well, most of my empties. I didn't put everything in a video because we'd be here forever because I just love makeup and beauty stuff, and I use it constantly all the time. I'm going to put it back in my Mooney box and out it goes. Okay guys, if you like to see this, have little mini reviews, thumbs up and uh, please subscribe if you'd like to um, see more v videos that I've posted. Uh, I've got some favorites going on and some reviews and I'm also starting Project Pan my own way. It's not the normal way that you see everybody else do it. I'm doing it my own way because I have to be different. But okay, Thumbs up, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.